Guess what day it is. Huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is. Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> Leslie, guess what today is? It's hump day. <laughs> Good morning, Eagles. My name is Karime, and we are from... Mrs. Espinosa's class! Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with dignity for all. Now the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one indivisible. And now a moment of silence. Wednesday. My name is Camila with the K. And my name is Angel with the N. We are proud fifth graders from Mrs. Espinosa's class. <laughs> today is Wednesday, August 28, 2019. And today is picture day. Say, Say cheese! cheese. Teachers, your class will be called out for pictures. Please wait patiently. We are starting with fourth grade. Remember, all students, teachers, and staff must take a picture. The portraits are for the yearbook. Don't forget, if you're a staff member who does not have your badge, please, you must take an ID picture. Mr. Ryan will take ID pictures in Lab 504 from 745 to 9. In case you don't know, Lab 504 is here at the Eagles Nest Studios. Grades 4 and 5 robotics teams are practicing today after school. If you did not bring back your permission slip, you cannot stay. Did you bring your snack? Also, 2nd grade and 3rd grade robotics students will be meeting during P and Lab 504. Don't forget that Finnish Friday returns to FME this Friday. That's in two days. <laughs> Tell your families to join you for activities during PE. Coaches will be selling waters and juices again this year, so bring your dinero. Also, don't forget that there's no winning Wednesday to day after school. Teachers will be meeting instead on Thursday in the library. That's it for our news today. Let's this switch to Studio, Studio One. one. Happy Wednesday, Eagles. Do you all know that FME Eagles are respectful, responsible, and ready? Hey, Eagles, how are you feeling today? Feeling great, going strong, so like Eagles all day long. Yes! It's now time for Ms. Gomez with some special announcements. Oh, my goodness, I just got some breaking news. Hold on, Eagles. Caught doing good. Melanie Martinez from Ms. Carmona's class. She walked a friend to the front office who was lost. <laughs> also, Anthony Lasso from Ms. Macias's class got stuck around, who also stuck around while his class went out to recess and he helped clean the tables up in the cafeteria. <laughs> we go! Woo! Good morning, it's great to see everyone today on this Wednesday. Glad you are here. Monday's attendance was 97.6. Oh, so close. If we round it up, it would be 98%. Now remember, our attendance goal at FME is what? 98%. I know you can do it, so everybody come to school tomorrow. And now back to Camila with a K and breaking Angel news, with a D. <gasps> Hold on, breaking news, breaking news. Hold on. I'm gonna join your hair. 
So, I'm on. Does anybody know what this is? Students? No. Toner. Toner. A lot of people say ink. This is not ink. It has powder. This container, however, has no more powder. So it's very important, teachers, that we remember our rules on printing. It is on the handbook. This very cartridge three weeks ago was brand new, and it was placed in the 502 black and white printer. It is empty now. So reality is we don't have any more toners. This was supposed to last us at least a good two months. These are $125 a piece. Mm -hmm. Many teachers follow the rules. You only print three to four to five sheets, then that can be copied on the main copier. But I see papers coming through that are 30 to 50 pages long. The consequence is we don't have any more toner in Lab 502. We don't have the color toner because the same thing happened in the spring. So the reality will be if we do run out of our toners, we'll only be able to use the Canon copiers, which I know is a hassle for many people. So it is a convenience to have the network printers, but it's also very costly for our school. So again, I, I hope that I've made the point that we must be very, very careful. We must follow the rules. If you open the main handbook, I have an entire section about printing and rules that most teachers follow, but there are teachers that tend to abuse the rule. So this is a consequence. So sorry for the sad news. Aww. But now I will turn it over to Studio Two. But before we go over to Studio Two, we have one more announcement. We do? Yes, we do. Oh, wow. Teachers, there's a bunch of books in the conference uh, room. We invite you to go over there, first come, first serve. We'll see you there. And now, just back to Camelia with a K and Angel with an A. Woo! Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to CNN. See you tomorrow. Have a well Wednesday, Eagles. Ciao! Ciao.